biggest difference between you if you're at an amateur level and a professional is the speed of play, the execution at which everything is done, the speed at which decisions are made. So in this video, I wanna talk about how to play faster, how to play quicker, how to play with your head up, how to make decisions, how to think faster on the field. Now, I'm gonna... If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. First of all, you need to know what you're gonna do before the ball comes to you. So that is impossible for me to do. Let's say I'm this player. If the ball is coming to me, that's impossible for me to do if I do not look around. Biggest mistake most players make is the only thing that they're watching is this ball. They don't know where their teammates are. They don't know where the defenders are coming from. They don't know where open space is. They don't know <laughs> what's going on because all they're doing is focusing on the ball. Okay, what happens is most players the ball is coming to them, they're focusing on the ball. They receive the ball, it's at their feet, they're still looking at the ball. Now they get their head up, but by that time it's too late, they're already closed down, okay? And then they try to dribble out of here, take too many touches, Get ball gets intercepted, they get scored on and it's all their fault. Worst case scenario, okay? So to avoid that, to play quicker, you need to get your head up, look around more. So as that ball's coming to me, I'm already looking around. Okay, before that ball is coming to me, I'm already looking around. I'm already anticipating, let's say the ball was out here. I'm already anticipating that that ball is eventually going to come to me. So as this ball is traveling to me, I need to know, okay, I have a teammate here. I have a teammate who's making a run here. I have a teammate in support. And I know the defenders are coming to close me down from here. Or I know nobody's coming to close me down and there's space to attack. Okay, so if as the ball is coming to me, my head is up. I'm already looking. Yes, I'm glancing at the ball, I'm glancing back up, I'm glancing at the ball, I'm glancing back up. I glance at the ball to take my touch into space, and then I play my pass, and then I support the player, and I make a run, okay? But you need to think about getting your head up, looking around, anticipating or analyzing the play before it happens. You wanna be two, three passes ahead of the play before it even happens. So think about that, try to catch yourself. Am I just looking at the ball the whole time and then I receive it and then I get my head up and then everyone else is already closed down and then I have to dribble out of trouble and take too many touches and complicate the play. Okay, so if you wanna play quicker, get your head up. Analyze the play, find the space, find where the defenders are, find where your teammates are and then you wanna think about playing quicker, okay? So you've done the hard part, which is getting your head up. Now, you wanna just play those passes, make it easier on yourself. So in these clips I'm gonna show, it's all gonna be one touch football. A little two touch here and there, but one touch football. In order to play one touch football, you have to do what we just talked about. Analyze the field, get your head up, know what you're gonna do before the ball gets to you. So as this ball is coming, I already know I have a teammate in support. I'm gonna play that one touch. I'm gonna make this run into here. I already know I have a teammate here. I'm gonna play that one touch. I'm gonna continue my run. One touch, one touch, one touch, finish. Yes, we win the game, score the goal all that good stuff because you got your head up, you said, okay, I'm gonna play quicker. And also playing quicker is a mindset, okay? Most of us, we get the ball and we're hesitant. We don't, uh, okay, I'll take another touch. Oh, uh, took too many touches, now everyone's closed down, okay? Think about what you wanna do. Have the, the mindset when you go in today's practice or today's game, okay, today I'm gonna play way quicker. I'm gonna try to play more one touch, more two touch. And saying that, I don't want you to panic and just be like, one touch, one touch, one touch, one touch, okay? If the ball's whipped at you and you need to take two touches, take those two touches. But if that ball's played, rolling to you nice and slowly, then you can play that one touch and then move into support, okay? And I'm playing with like a fullback here, but this applies to every position. So let's look at these clips from uh, that recent futsal match that I played. And I just want you to think about my movement, think about how I'm making decisions before the ball even gets to me, and then look at the technique, the passes, that that I play in certain situations. Sometimes if the if like a player is on me and that ball comes to me, I'll just play that ball back and then find new space. Or I'll just play that ball back and then come inside and try to get the ball. Okay? So we'll watch these clips and then most importantly I want to think I want you to think about how you're going to apply this in your next practice or your next game.
If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. If you like this content check out the soccer success planner you can download it for free there's a link in the description below and for advanced training check out the online soccer academy